The Smart Board Revolution Google Plus Community presents a Smart Survival Guide. I'm your host, Matt Granger. This is one of the episodes in the Adding Interactivity to Lessons and or Simplifying Lesson Creation with Widgets series. And this is about the Trash Can Widget. So the Trash Can Widget is just that. It's a trash can. You can drag objects, images, text, ink to the trash can to get rid of it off a page. So here's an example. Maybe you have this page. Put all the words that are not nouns in the trash. Pedagogically, that's the way I would do it. I wouldn't want to put the nouns in the trash because if we're learning about nouns, now they're gone and everything that's left on the page are not nouns doesn't make sense to me. Although that could be another way is put all the nouns and now let's talk about these other words. Why aren't they nouns? So to put the trash can widget, you're going to go to the gallery tab. You would have already installed the widgets into the my content folder and if you need a video on that, check out my video on finding, downloading, and installing widgets. Come down here and you find the trash can. Drag it or double click. Remember with these widgets, you can't just click on them like you can click on other objects to select them. You can right click on them to select them. And then to move them, you have to grab like the line. They drag it, drop it. And again, this could be text that's on there, any ink object that you have on there. So it doesn't have to be typed text. Any object can be dragged and dropped on top of the trash can and objects are text, ink, images. It could also be if you have objects on there that, okay, we've used this one, okay, we're done with it. You know, maybe this isn't the directions, maybe the directions are use the word in a sentence. Okay, we're done with that one. Use the word in a sentence or give the plural of this word. Okay, we're done with that one. Now that you've seen the trash can widget, I'm sure you've got ideas going around in your head about how you would use it in your lesson files.